Hey guys, welcome back to a new video, and today we are doing the West Brom career mode, episode 2 in FIFA 22. Before we get into this, I'd just like to say thank you guys for the support on the last video. Currently, as I'm recording, it has over 50 views, which, for, you know, for me, it's just insane, you know, the contrast, because just a month ago in FIFA 20, when I was averaging 10 views a video, now to jump to 50, you know, hopefully... I'm thinking soon we can get past that 100 subscriber barrier, um, but the growth uh, lately on the views, and, and one of my videos is almost on 10k views, wouldn't have never imagined getting that many views on one vid, so thank you guys so much for that, obviously trying to grow, like I said, to 100 subscribers, if we can get there maybe by Christmas, at a push, potentially, if we could get there by then, that would just be the dream you know that would just be absolutely unbelievable now we actually went in for um dane scala obviously you know how i feel about hugo not the biggest of fans of hugo nothing against the guys you know i'm sure he's a good person but you know in fifa i don't really rate him uh, and he, even in real life against stoke didn't do anything against qpr I was just picking arguments with the players yeah, he wasn't anything special for me. I didn't really add anything to the team. Like, I'd rather have... Even how Robson Carnu would be better than him. To, was, would be better than him, to be fair. Um, uh, but, yeah. Like, he's just not... I'm not a hu huge fan of him. So, I thought... We had three options. I wanted to lap. Uh, we had to lap Scarlett or Kutsias. Wanted it to be t between Delap and Scarlet. Obviously, Delap's been linked to us in real life, um, so that 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 was sort of realistic, semi-realistic. But wanted to use Scarlet just because I've never used him before. Um, he's used to wearing sort of white and blue, blue and white. Uh, that, that's our colours. So thought it'd be a good sign, and I actually know him in real life. Um, Huge talent for Spurs. Uh, hopefully he either gets a chance or gets thrown down. I feel like he deserves that. Uh, as uh, we get in, and we only had to pay like 1.6 million. His wages weren't that much, and he's only asking for a sporadic um, role in the actual squad. What a bargain! Now getting into the Sheffield United match, we didn't start that well as a red card for Kyle Bartley as half time we were just awful we had an xg of zero um but we did get a bit a bit of luck obviously uh this is comedic what an own goal but um obviously in real life we beat sheffield united 4-0 obviously in real life those at the start of the season especially there was talk about you know sheffield united are they going to be the next sunderland because they had such a such a negative season last year in the premier league and that confidence levels Always, when you're finished bottom of the table, it's hard to rally your team um, and, and to go up into the next season. I know, because when we went well, down in 17-18, yeah, we ended up lose, losing the playoffs to Villa in the semi-finals. Um, and it didn't help, you know, because we were bottom, our confidence wasn't that good. Um, but yeah, that just shows the psychological effect of things. Now, Grant gave us a quick 2-0 lead, a bit of momentum there. Uh, I do believe momentum's a thing in FIFA. I think Doc's on his channel, he's mentioned it before. Like, momentum, I think, is a huge thing in FIFA. I'm glad they have that, because in real life as well, momentum's a huge aspect of football. Like, if a side has an advantage in momentum, that'll win them a game. As easy as that, you know. It doesn't really matter the rating of players. It just matters if you've got momentum on the day, you know, if you've got the commitment. And, and I love how FIFA's getting more and more realistic. Because you know, that, that's just absolutely good. Now, Norwood would get a consolation after um, Robinson scored a world. A bit overall, uh, we got the win. Actually, we didn't actually play that well. I thought Sheffield United actually played better than us. But I think we took our chances when we needed to. Um... Sheffield United didn't really, and uh, we ended up getting the win. Obviously, only doing, only doing uh, the press conference for, for the morale. Morale 
I think it's a huge it's, it's gonna be a huge Thanks, part of career mode this year if I'm not wrong. Yeah, morale's a huge part of it. Um interesting offer here for Ray and Tulloch. Um Bundesliga side Aramina Bielefeld, which I found quite interesting, obviously. Um could he turn out to be another Carl Edwards? I hope not, but he needs to get game time if he doesn't want to turn out to be like him because we released Carl Edwards. I was quite angry about that. I thought Carl Edwards would add something this season in the championship, and I thought, what are we doing releasing him? He now plays for Ipswich. What shame, uh, you know, because you've gotten rid of a homegrown talent there, which is just a letdown. After beating Blackburn, we fall to a 2 2 draw. Bit disappointing. Uh, to draw to Peter, but obviously in real life, uh, a J with a last gasp winner, 90 plus 6, absolute limbs in the away end at the Western Home Stadium, you know, on the telly, I was watching that, <laughs> that was brilliant, what a result uh, for us, that was in real life, only getting a 2-2 two -two draw, and against Millwall, disappointing, disappointing loss there at home, you know, got to be doing a bit better there. I don't know what's going on with Simming uh, of late. Now, an uh, interesting thing. Sam Johnston, I love this in FIFA. Sam Johnston comes to us and actually says, Boss, want a new contract. I'm committed to the club. Just like in real life. He wants a new contract. He wants to play for us. And this is what I love about Sam. He's such a nice lad. You know, I'd say he's probably our best player. And he's a really nice person too. Like, if he was to leave... In Jan even in January, I wouldn't be mad at it because like, he is so committed to the club. He's respectful to the fans. Whereas someone like a Pereira, he left on such bad terms with the fans, didn't apologise, and just waste he's wasting his career in Al Athlete just for a bag of cash. You know, he, he could have got, he's, in the Premier League, he probably would have still got a really good wage. Like, it's just a, a stupid move, I think. But we are tied down Johnston. Good deal there. And I'm happy about it. Youth Academy. Sam Hubbard looking good. And so does Caleb Page here. Um, we've got three talents now. All look pretty fairly decent. I think I'd all loan them. I'd loan all, I'd loan them out. Sorry about that. I'd loan them out. Oh, maybe in January. That could be the play. Because um, they're relatively young, I think. They won't play. Uh, hopefully we get promoted. Yeah, they just won't play in the Premier League. Even in the Championship, they're not higher than 60-ish rated. You're not going to really get a game and in the Championship. Of course, so I thought I'd loan them out. Uh, facing Derby County, who in real life have obviously got huge financial issues. Um, yeah, got a nine-point deduction. They were actually doing relatively well before the deduction. Like they were actually mid-table, almost top ten. So they weren't actually doing that bad, but then. Financial issues, oh, nine point deduction. The bottom of the league now with two points, and it survivors a long lives. shot, isn't it? Yeah, I think they're going straight down. 24th in my prediction video. I think I'm going to be right there, but um, fair play in FIFA. Um, we're showing FIFA's unrealism already because how are Derby beating us? You know, it's not like they're in an administration uh, in real life and struggling. Um, Opportunity squandered, Stuart. As you can see, the host of we were struggling in this match in the first half, like and in the second half, we brought on Scarlett, and he absolutely stole the show. This is where we signed him off the bench when we're losing, well, when we're drawing. Three, he's fast, he's got goal. the pace, and what an assist here by um, Dian Garner. And uh, what a goal, really happy about that. A missed chance here by Livermore, who well, could have done better, but Townsend galloping forward. And I'm telling you now, I think Townsend probably the most underrated, one of the most underrated players in the championship because he, I don't think he gets enough credit, you know, for the job he does at left back. He, he even makes up as a back, makeshift centre back, you know, and he plays. He's such a good player. Uh, the fact we got him from Scunthorpe too for under two million. That is just a bargain. Absolute 
bargain. Uh, ended up sealing the win. 3-1 job done uh, in the in this match. Um, yeah, we performed really well in the second half. Uh, and the XG 5.8, yeah, really impressive performance. Now, don't understand how we managed to lose. I think uh, there's a problem with simming. Uh, why do I keep losing in sim matches? Why can't I win in sim matches? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask FIFA about that because, you know, is that really realistic in real life for me to lose to Preston? I know we drew with them in real life, but come on. It's Preston, you know, Preston North End, and I'm losing to them. Got to be doing a bit better there. Um, but getting into QPR, who are actually first so far in this. Obviously, QPR, huge dark horse in real life. Can they get promoted through the playoffs? Potentially. You know what? Fulham are struggling of late. Here's a shout. I think I think it's going to be Bournemouth, West Brom. And you know what? Don't write off Coventry, because Coventry have started off really well, too. I think those are, at the moment, those are the three I'm going for, obviously, West Brom, because I'm a bit biased there. Tom's Bournemouth quality. are I still unbeaten in the championship, Bournemouth. And, and I think Coventry have been absolutely brilliant so far. Um, apart from that 5-0 loss to Luton, so they're playing really well. Now, in this game, we were doing really well. We were winning 2-0. Bran, he's on fire for me. Uh, I just love playing with Bran on FIFA. He is a plur. Um, they slot through Damari, uh, not Damari Gray, Andre Gray, wrong Gray there. Uh, Andre Gray found the back of the net um, to give QPR a consolation. But that's all it would be. Overall, yeah, we were the better team. We're dominant. Um, we went into this Cardiff match. Uh, quick send it. Expected at least a draw. We ended up with a nail, uh, unfortunately. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.